now to demonstrate the idea of inter-VLAN uh, inter routing using layer 3 switch, we have selected these two PCs, which are going to be the member of one VLAN. So we are selecting maybe color here. So this is our VLAN 10 maybe, and this is our VLAN 20. And to connect them, so we need a switch. So we are going to select the switch that is the layer 3 switch and connect these PCs with the switch. So fast Ethernet and here fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 and here fast Ethernet 0 slash 2. And on this side, maybe fast Ethernet 0 slash 3. Now we say this is VLAN 10. So this is VLAN 10 and uh, this VLAN is VLAN 20, so we say this VLAN 20. And in this VLAN, we will be using 192.168.10.0. So this will be IP address used in this uh, VLAN. And on this side, we have to select different subnets. So maybe we can say that this should be 20.0. Okay, so these are two different subnets and uh, let's give IP address to these PCs. So the first PC, this goes 192.168.10.1 and for this PC, using this subnet dot 10, so that's 192.168.10.2, the second PC, we give an IP address to this as well. And on this side, this PC, this PC should, ha should have an IP address that is 192.168.20.1 and to make it different subnet. So this is in different subnet. Now this is in different subnet. Okay. Now let's see if it's working. So we go to simulation mode and we say from this PC to this PC. So let's say mm, we have to select edit filter and uh, just we don't have to use them all, just ICMP maybe. So from this PC to that PC, let's see what, what happens here. You can scroll, it goes to switch and then goes to second PC and then back and we gone. So it works, this is successful. Now let's see if this works from this PC, which is in VLAN 10, to this PC, which is in VLAN 20. So you can see this is cross sign, which says that, says that this is not possible. So it cannot cross to VLAN 20, which is actually in different subnet. And for that purpose, we need routing to use layer three switch. So what we do, we just go again to real time. And now what we do, we go to this switch. Now, in some of the switches like 2960 to use these PCs, so this is actually, this is the initial configuration, I say no. In those switches, to use that switch, we need to enable this SDM um, feature of the switch. So for that, we need to go to config T and here we say SDM, switch database management, and then prefer and then we use routing so that this layer three should start routing. Uh, this this um, switch database management system should allow IP3 routing. So what we say, I SDM prefer routing. Now it should work. But for this to take effect, we need to reload the switch. Uh, so we need to go to privilege mode and here we say reload the switch. So it will take some time and it will reload. So this is in all switches we need to perform this to make this thing effective. So switch is, a, switch is taking some time to reload. So it has been reloaded, no initial configuration, okay. And now what we have to do, we have to create VLAN 
10 and VLAN 20 and we have to assign these ports to VLAN 10 and this port to VLAN 20. And if you remember from uh, a previous video we created in VLAN, so what we need to do, we need to go to global configuration mode and then we need to go to interface. And which interfaces? In this case, FA01 and FA02 are the interfaces are the ports which should be assigned to VLAN 10. So what we do, we select interface range, pass Ethernet 0 slash 1, 2, 2. So both of the ports will be selected at the same time. And then switch port, mode access, and switch port, access, uh, access VLAN 10. Now these two ports have been assigned to VLAN 10. And we actually did not create VLAN 10. But with this command, we actually are going to create VLAN 10 as well as we are going to assign those ports to VLAN 10. Okay, so just say exit maybe and then this port or this interface, which is actually FA, if you see here, that is FA03. So we say interface pass Ethernet 0 slash 3. And here we say switch port mode access and switch port access VLAN 20. So we are going to create as well as assign these ports to VLAN 20. So both of the VLANs have been created and ports have been assigned. Let's verify it. So we say show VLAN. It will show us, sorry, do show VLAN. We can see VLAN 10 has got these two ports and VLAN 20 has got this one port. And remaining ports are assigned to the by default VLAN that is VLAN 1. So if you have some doubts and we have another video on specifically how to create VLAN, how to assign ports, you can see. But today we have to focus on this layer 3 switching. So for that layer 3 switching, we have that we can create or we can have a virtual logical layer 3 interface for this VLAN and we can have a separate logical virtual layer 3 interface so that for this VLAN. So how can we access them? So we can just say interface VLAN 10. So this is our logical uh, layer 3 interface that is switch virtual interface. So we can assign IP address to this switch for virtual interface and but for that for VLAN 10 the IP address should be from this subnet so that is dot 10 so 192.168.10.5 may be IP address for this so we can assign any any IP address here and then don't forget the subnet mask and then no share now we will have a logical interface for this VLAN. So what we do, we say we go to in, inter, interface VLAN 20, and then we assign an IP address to this. So that should be 192.168.20. So in this subnet, any IP address except one and two. So I'm going to give five, and then subnet mask. and no share. So now we have assigned IP address to this SCR switch virtual interface and IP address to this. Now they should they should be able to communicate with each other. I'm okay. Uh, and uh, we also we also can see here the uh, uh, we, we need to use IP routing to enable the IP routing between them and then we can just use show command show IP route to, to see the IP routing table. So you can see these two interfaces are connected for so the VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. And uh, now let's see if we are able to, to contact or we are able to communicate from this VLAN to this VLAN. Okay, so the 
the IP address of this PC is 192.168.20.1. Uh, so one more point that we have to we have to give default gateway. So for this, so this is say this this is default AL default gateway. So this is that this interface or this logical interface is the default gateway for this VLAN and this logical interface will be default gateway for this VLAN. So we have to use it here. So 192.168.20.5 was the IP address which we assigned here. And then for this PC, because the packets have to travel to different subnets, so we need to give a default gateway. And this default gateway will be 10.5, which we use for this logical interface exactly in the same way for this 192.168.10.5 for this. So we have given that the default gateway. You remember this is different subnet and this different subnet. So if they have to cross the subnet, then we need default gateway and the IP addresses of these logical interfaces will actually be used as a default gateway. Now let's ping from this PC to the PC in subnet 20, that is 192.168.20.1. And uh, let's see if it works. Yes, you see it's working. So now, it means if you go to simulation mode, we can go from this PC to this PC, which are actually in different subnets. So you can see here, this goes to switch. So it sends to, to the uh, next virtual LAN, and this is coming back. Okay, so we saw that this layer three switch actually provides uh, layer two functionality as well as layer three routing. And now, we can have one port or one interface of this layer three switch connected with a router. So let's say, for example, we are selecting some router here, and then we select maybe we, we need to connect them. So we are connecting this G01 gigabit ethernet with here, gigabit 00 interface, so they are connected. Now, this is the port which you are using, so that is G01. So we need to go to that interface, interface G0 slash one, and we can give an IP address to this or any IP address like 10.10.10.10, maybe 255 .0 .0 .0. Okay, uh, what is uh, so there is some error, what is that? Ah, oh, yeah, we need to use that uh, no switch port so that this port should be used as a layer three interface as we use in router. So after this command, this should work. So IP address, so maybe from memory, we select that command. So IP address 10.10.10.10, .10 .10 .10. okay, and then no shift. You see, this command converted that port into layer three interface. And on this side, we can say, this is, on this side, which port is that? This is G000, so we just go here. And then no initial configuration, and then we go to global configuration mode. And we select interface, which is actually G00 or so. So that is G000, so to router. And we say interface, and, and mm, interface G0 slash 0 slash 0. And we can give an IP address like 10.10.10.11. Two five five dot zero dot zero dot zero and uh, sorry IP address so IP address and then just specific IP address and then no share 
So we assign, we connected these two nodes with each other. Okay. So now you can see they, they are they are connected. So in this way they can be connected with each other. So this port has been converted to uh, layer three interface. And then by using some IP routing, we can have check the connectivity as well. Uh, so yes, uh, you can use some IP routing on this switch and this should work. And this is uh, something about a layer three switch being used uh, to route the packets from one VLAN to another VLAN. Thank you.